a new software update for Tesla's has just come out 2022.24.6 and there's been quite a few little changes in this that are quite important so here's a quick description on what's going on so here we are at the software screen as you can see here 2022.24.6 Six, and we can go into release notes first item on the list is Tesla profiles so this has been promised for some time and it basically keeps your settings and preferences synchronized across all supported vehicles so I'm in my Model 3 I've got my profile set up and then when I go into somebody else's Model 3 I can have it set up in exactly the same way it gets the mirror seating steering wheel the autopilot driving and climate control and navigation media and data sharing preferences and you set that up in driver profile settings and it also says you can change your profile picture in the mobile app on your phone so we'll do that later I'm not sure whether going from a Model 3 to a Model Y will work or to an X because they've got different seating positions but we shall see. The next one is blind spot camera. Now this is something I've been wanting to have. When it first came out and we had the blind spot camera down here, your hand holding the steering wheel used to block the view of it and it was absolutely stupid and I wanted to be able to move it around well I'm happy because now I can so if we put the indicator on you'll see that I've got it set there and you can easily adjust it by dragging it and those are the three positions my personal preference is just there because navigation and so on is in there um, and there's not too much of importance on here that it's covering. So that's a very useful additional feature. The next one is traffic along the route. Now, here it will only work if you've got premium connectivity. And when you're navigating to somewhere, it will show you the route, but it will come up with blue, orange, red lines depending upon how heavy the traffic is red obviously is heaviest so that's not a bad thing you can also program it to um, save you uh, a certain amount of time by uh, going in the navigation and I've got mine set to if you find a different route that saves me more than two minutes change the route so it'll do it automatically anyway the next one down here driver profiles any navigation recents or favorites will now be saved in the active profile so when you jump into another car you'll have some of your recent navigations or your favorites so you might have your home or your work included in that now the uh, previous set of upgrades 2022.20 i only got up to dot six but i think on dot eight this one came in tesla vision so it's basically turned off the radar and working on tesla vision it's working with the camera only or the cameras and its own neural net processing and I've been driving with that for the last day or two and you know what I haven't noticed any difference whatsoever um, so the only thing that I did notice was as you can see here automatic light is um, I'll have to move the camera the automatic light uh, is on that is on when you're driving in autopilot or traffic aware cruise control it comes on and i've tried turning it off like that and when i'm in cruise control 
guess what comes straight back so I'm not too sure how that is going to go at night because it needs it on for the automatic autopilot to work so we shall see I'll have to take it out at night and try it so here in autopilot you've got the settings that you need auto steer if you've got your full self-driving navigate on autopilot you can customize the navigate on autopilot start on every trip yes um, speed base laden changes um, exit passing lanes if you put that on yes it will continually ask you if it wants to go back out of the passing lane I don't like that I can make up my own mind if I want to move out of the way you've got to take into account what's coming up behind you and so on the other thing here is require lane chain confirmation I have that set to yes if you set it to no it will do it automatically but then you can get it to um, ask tell you whether it notification is off whether it chimes vibrates or both I just don't like it doing it on its own at the moment I prefer to be able to say yes go ahead and do it then you've got the traffic light stop control that's in full self-driving still beta you notice it's labeled beta the full self-driving visualization preview which is in here it's on this current system it's not anywhere near as good as what they've got in America and summon customize summon and so on and then down here you've got the automatic blind spot camera you can turn that camera that comes up here on and off so if you want it off and you don't want to worry about it that's where you turn it off otherwise there's not much else changed in that and one thing I've noticed here on the service where you've got your car comes up and it's got your um, PSI listings as you can see this was 21 minutes ago 45 all the way around on the car pillar it's got 22 PSI recommended cold pressure here now is labeled as 45 for the front 44 for the rear now I've always driven mine with 45 all the way around cold pressure not 42 and I've just noticed that just now that they've got a recommended PSI now 45 on the front 44 on the back uh, that's just a bit strange I don't know when that appeared but there it is so that's it for in the car we'll now go to the computer and have a look at the Tesla app on my smartphone and how you can change your uh, picture on there here we've got the app up and running and you'll see in the top right of this screen there was a picture so I've now made that you hit the plus sign that's just there and then you can pick a, um, a picture and then you'll go um, to crop it and put it in there it's really quite easy and you can adjust it and so on so once you've done that there you go you've got a picture up there and it can be a logo it can be a picture of whatever you like i hope that helps thanks very much for watching don't forget click the like and subscribe down the bottom here and i'll see you all soon